covering the week's top tech stories with a slight Linux bias. Some of the biggest Call of Duty, Overwatch, and Hearthstone esports leagues will be streamed exclusively on YouTube. The deal seen as a big win for the platform, which has found it hard to compete with the game streamer Twitch. It's part of a deal that the site's signed with Activision Blizzard, the company which runs the leagues Twitch exclusively streamed for the first two seasons of Overwatch League and is seen as the go-to destination for live gaming. For sure. Sunil Ryan, head of gaming at Google Cloud, says, quote, we've worked closely with Activision Blizzard for the past few years across mobile titles to boost its analytics capabilities and overall player experience. We're excited to now expand our relationship and help power one of the largest and most renowned game developers in the world, end quote. Despite being the largest video site in the world, YouTube has historically struggled to compete with sites like Twitch. But in the last few months, the platform's been making some high-profile moves, poaching a number of high-profile Twitch streamers. As a part of the deal, the search giant's cloud platform will power all of Activision Blizzard's game hosting and other technical needs. Google Cloud will also host Activision Blizzard's entire library of games. That's a, quite a change in, in the landscape of video games gameplay on online it, it is twitch has always been like that's where you go for gameplay well yeah and i mean the fact that they've now just secured those three games makes me wonder could this either force twitch to adapt or mm. put them under be, be the end yeah like if youtube can start pulling away from twitch and saying you know what we've got this yeah. and if they can show that hey we've done it better right then mm. other twitch streamers are going to go, eh, you know what, I can go here. Mm -hmm. Now, what's interesting, though, is it talked about the fact that they pulled some of the high-profile Twitch streamers, so I'm wondering if there's a different compensation rate versus what you would normally get on, on YouTube. It's a really weird landscape, though, because we can't produce video on YouTube for children. Correct. Mm -hmm. And so because of that, the so the games are going to have to be adult-centric. Uh, I Or at least the, the, to be, the commentary. To be honest, with most of these, they already are. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So so what we're going to see, so understand what that means is that, okay, so the YouTube game, uh, like the the community of gamers on YouTube is going to grow into an adult-centric video service. Right. So, well, so then maybe like Twitch foul language, um, probably well, some... not necessarily. Um, I mean, yeah, necessarily. I mean, you're, you're going to get some of it for sure. Mm -hmm. But, I mean, you look at some of those older YouTubers like Dan TDM, who's been around forever. Yeah, but how's he doing with YouTube right now? As far as I know, he's still doing videos. My kids are watching him all the time. How are the ads looking? Hmm. I haven't question. noticed anything. I don't know. I'd have to check on, on Dan and see how things are going. But see, the thing is, is that as soon as COPPA came in, it really impacted streamers who, yes. like Dan has always been very, he's been very centric on, on children and uh, ch children's entertainment. Yes. And because of that, that will impact his revenue because under COPPA, he is not allowed to generate revenue based on children viewing his stream. Right. So, he would have to generate adult centric videos in order to generate any revenue. Now, I mean, at the end of the day though, YouTube isn't going to know whether it's me on my phone watching or my kids on my phone, but even if right, like, regardless, but of Dan the, can't I, take that risk. No, I hear you. But I mean, how, how does that force the content to change? Because Dan has to select. So we're talking about Dan TDM here. Yeah. He has to select when he creates a video that this is created for children. That the, that the content is appealing to children. And if he selects right. that, he is not allowed to monetize it. So whether it's you mm. or whether it's a child watching it, there are no ads that are monetizing it for him. So he's, right. not, make, he's not making any money off of those videos. So then he just says it's for adults. Somebody came into... Very, yeah, but, very, very young adults. But if a child is... See, then he's taking a risk because it's not. And they could shut him down very, very quickly. Right. Fair right. enough. Okay. And this so is a legal issue. It'll be interesting yeah. to see with, with the switch then, because you're right. A lot of the viewers are teens. Mm -hmm. I mean, that, I mean, when it comes to 13 plus is okay. Oh, then they're full. Yeah. They're fine. Yeah. But as soon as any, anyone under 13 is watching, 
that that has to be selected by the streamer. Right. And if it is selected by the streamer, we're not allowed to monetize it. So then, I mean, with oh. the switch from Twitch to YouTube, I don't think it's going to have much of an impact because all of those games at the end of the day, when you look at the was it e, uh, ERT rating or whatever. Yes, it is. but but right now on Twitch, nobody's monitoring. Kappa hasn't cracked down on Twitch. So Twitch. So those those yes. streamers are still making money off of the ten year olds. That's right. Right. So right? Twitch is still. Which I I'm not saying whether I agree or don't agree. I'm just saying that so the, that is going to be a strange shift because in in order to monetize, they have to specifically make their programming for thirteen plus. They cannot create programming that is appealing to ten year olds. Right. To eleven year olds. To twelve year olds. But the difference between a 10-year-old and a 13-year-old, not really that That's different. what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. Uh, I guess I'm just viewing it from a different lens than you. I can say I'm gearing it to 13-year-olds, <clears throat> and if a 10-year-old watch it, so be it. No, but I'm can't. gearing it for 13 not... because the law will crack down on you with that attitude. It's so weird. Yeah. But, but if that's okay. the case, I mean, how many kids do you... Like, I mean, I remember getting uh, movies rented that were 18A. No, sorry, R. R. You're like the church boy. Like horror flicks and stuff <laughs> when I was 14. <laughs> so like uh, you can't stop. We're, yeah, we're not going to be able to solve this we, in this moment. That we is... cannot account for your crimes, Jeff. <laughs> I think this is fine. I don't think I don't think they're going to notice an issue. I really don't. I oh, think dear. they're going to be able to, to stream on YouTube and I think they'll be fine. We'll see. Okay. What the, do you the, think? The, the initial blip will below. be them getting are you a streamer? subscribers. Are you a game streamer on Twitch? What are your opinions? Let us know. Comment below. Yeah, please.